some tea before I start this video. This was taken probably like a month ago, like just under a month. So just please keep that in mind. I'm just, you know, not doing well. I mean, I'm not doing well in this video. I'm doing pretty well now, but like. Hi gang. So, um, <coughs> I'm sick. Okay, and I was gonna film a video about life and um, I can't do that because I am on my deathbed So I decided to pull an Emma Chamberlain and just film from my bed and have a good old life update <laughs> That's disgusting. I'm just gonna start off with like how I got sick. It's a story. Let me tell you So my weekend started off pretty uh tiring. So it started out on Thursday I what did I end up doing? I literally can't remember. Oh on Thursday. I went out with my friends. It was a little costume Halloween party to kick off Halloween weekend part one, okay? How college of me. Ugh. I went as a nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and it was pretty fun after that Halloween party me and Ashton, you know Ashton remember her from the last vlog We had a deep car talk That's me. <laughs> that was super fun. We ended up staying up and watching the sunrise for no reason I did not plan to stay up until 9 o'clock in the morning that day I just wanted to go to sleep as soon as the time hit like around like 2 o'clock to 3 o'clock I was like, okay, I'm kind of ready to go to bed, but we did it We literally just ended up talking with our friends and watching the sunrise with them. It was fun I had a lot of fun. It was so unintentional and I'm just like, oh my god, I live for that kind of jazz. You know what I mean? It was like a pretty college thing to do, like so spontaneous. Like, who am I? The last time I saw the sunset was in England when I came back from clubbing and I just decided to go watch the sunrise. I meant to say sunrise. Have I been saying sunrise this whole time or sunset? I don't know. I watched the sunrise with a bunch of my pals on Thursday, so Friday morning. <laughs> I didn't end up sleeping until like 9.30. I come into the honors dorm and then I open my door. My roommate is getting ready for her class that starts at 9.10 on Friday morning. And I was just like, oh, okay, I'm not a good noodle. So I get here, I tell her about my night and she's like, wow, that is so cool. So keep in mind, before all the sunrise cheese happened, I was feeling a bit crummy, not gonna lie. I was like, oh, if I just go out, I'll feel better like about myself. Like I'm not just gonna like let a little crumminess feeling like let me not have a good time. Wrong choice by me. So I end up going to sleep from 9.00 to 12 p.m. Friday, I wake up at 12 to like six missed calls from my girl Kenzie. And then I'm like, why did she call me six times? And then I start scrolling through my notifications and it is my sorority sisters reminding me, you have to volunteer at one o'clock p.m. I'm like, okay, I totally forgot about that. So I get out of bed and then I realize none of my stuff is in my room. All of my stuff, my contacts case, my glasses, my keys, my wallet, basically everything that I own is in a bag in Kenzie's dorm, which is not in my building so I'm just like well heck I call Kenzie and then she's going to go get food and it just so happens the food place is right by my dorm so I grab Kenzie's key and I run to her dorm it is now like 1230 I need to be leaving for volunteering at like 1 15 ish so I get my stuff from Gabby which is Kenzie's dorm you know the big fat Gabby hill that I always walk up run back to my dorm put my contacts on because I didn't want to go out in my glasses for some reason and then I grab my bike and I bike to where where my friend is gonna meet me to be picked up for volunteering like a good noodle then I volunteered for like two hours three hours I think it was I had a lot of fun volunteering we handed out candy to little children at a school and it was probably one of the cutest things I've ever seen so that was well worth it now the next half of the weekend is gonna take a little bit of explaining and a little bit of prerequisite information into your brains okay so this weekend was homecoming weekend for NAU and also tequila sunrise okay tequila sunrise basically is people who are over the age of 20 21, go and wake up at 4 o'clock in the morning and just start, you know, drinking. It doesn't even have to be tequila. It's a confusing concept. But here's what I did since I am underage. Most of my friends are under 21, so we don't participate in tequila sunrise because we're underage and we don't drink because we're good noodles like that. You know what I mean? So what ended up happening, Ashton stayed the night because we were going to wake up early and just kind of like hang out with our friends early in the morning. We we're going to wake up at like 4 o'clock, just, you know, kind of do our jazz at 4 and go get breakfast breakfast burritos made by one of our favorite frat boys because breakfast burritos are dank. Keep in mind, I'm still feeling pretty crummy before all of this and I am running off of three hours of sleep when this has happened. So Friday night at around like 10.30 ish, me and Ashton hop in our little beds. We say moth night, okay? And 30 minutes pass.
class, I can't sleep. Ashton sneezes after 30 minutes. And then from across the room, I yell, bless you. And she goes, Maddie, what are you doing still awake? And I'm like, Ashton, what are you doing still awake? So she mingles on over to the light. She turns it on and just yells, we are not sleeping tonight because we can't sleep. I'm like, okay, I should have said no. You're on crack. We need to go to sleep. I was a good noodle for once in my life. And I did like two assignments over the course of two hours. And then we start getting ready at around like three o'clock in the morning. It was freezing cold outside. Bear this in mind. It was 32 degrees outside. We had jeans and a jacket on and we were freezing. Here's what we did. We're so stupid for this. We Ubered from my dorm to Ashton's dorm so she could drop off her stuff. Then we Ubered from Ashton's dorm to the sorority housing so she could grab a jacket. And then we Ubered from the sorority housing to the house we were going to to get freaking breakfast burritos. That was about $20 in Ubers total, just in the course of that hour, not even hour. So I don't know what convinced us to do that. So yeah, then we go over there, we make breakfast burritos and it was pretty fun. And then we get home at around like lunchtime. We have lunch and then I pass out for four hours from like two to like six. I am dead, gone, I'm asleep, I'm dead to the world and then I wake up and then I feel the sickness starting to arise and I'm like well heck I know I'm gonna be going out tonight but um I'm a little feeling a little crummy so I just kind of sucked it up put on my Halloween costume and then we yeeted out of there and it was a fun night okay didn't get back until like two o'clock in the morning on Saturday night but that's fine because I got a really good amount of sleep from Saturday to Sunday me and Ashton woke up at noon Sunday was then a very productive day even though I was feeling very crummy and so was Ashton I'll get back to that in one second we went grocery shopping, had some food, and then I came back and I did some homework. Sundays are so weird here because the whole campus is basically just like empty. So anyways, today is Tuesday. Monday comes around. I go in the morning to Ashton's dorm at around like 9 o'clock so I could get some of my stuff that I left there. Because I left my North Face jacket there. And she's my pride and joy, so I like to have her on me at all times. <laughs> I go there, and then Ashton's roommate, Ava, we love her, she lets me in, and Ashton's still sleeping. But then I grab my jacket, and as I'm walking out the door, Ashton arises from the dead. She looks awful. She sounds awful. Literally looks like the epitome of death just threw up on her face and just rubbed it around a little bit. She's like, I'm going to the doctor right now. And she sounded very, um, sick. So I was like, okay, you do you. Have fun at the doctor. Let me know what they do. So Ashton then texts me an hour later saying she has strep throat. And I was just like, oh. Oh, like that's kind of scary because like I've been sharing like water with her like all weekend I'm like I definitely have strep throat because I started to feel very crummy This is very logical logical thinking by Maddie Murata. So she got diagnosed yesterday I go to the on-campus doctor today tell them what I'm feeling tell them that my friend just got diagnosed with strep And I was sharing like water with her stuff like that And then they're like, okay, like if you have strep it would show up on a test right now So why don't we go test you? I'm like, okay I've never had strep throat before and I'm like I was scared. I was like, well, there goes my whole week There goes my half Halloween. The doctor was very nice. She comes in and she goes, so you tested negative for strep throat. I'm like, thank Jesus Lord. So basically I'm just overreacting and I just have a little cold, a little freezy to freeze. I'm just not yeeting well, just a bit. I walked out of that doctor's office just feeling fantastic. <laughs> More tea. So basically, <laughs> I love rhyming. Basically, um, mm, I did not just have a cold. So here's what happened. I was not feeling too well, like a couple days afterwards, like literally like my head was like pounding. I couldn't breathe through like any hole in my body. So I was just like, I'm gonna go back to the on-campus doctor and just kind of do my thing. And I get there and they're like, okay, Maddie, you might have the flu. I'm like, the flu? I got my flu shot. I don't know how I ended up in this situation. So they test me for the flu. Like I said in the last video, it's like the worst thing ever imagined. I came up positive for the flu. After about like three days of having the flu, I still was not feeling like, you know, any better. I spent $75 on flu medicine that was prescribed to me from the on-campus doctor. That was basically a waste of my money. I ended up going to urgent care about like three days later and then I get there and she literally just tells me you have bronchitis and I'm like, cool, great, what now? She goes, I'm prescribing you antibiotics. If you're not better in like two days, then come back and we're gonna give you a chest x-ray. And that means something worse is wrong with your body than bronchitis. So I'm just like, great, fun. Never had this disease before. Not disease, infection. Bacterial infection? Mm. I had bronchitis for like about a week there. And literally like after I took my medicine, like I felt perfectly fine. So yeah, moral of the story is don't go to your on-campus doctor. Just go to your local urgent care. There's like literally 15 urgent cares within a five mile radius. I will go there again if I ever have bronchitis again. And that was that, so sorry. Bronchitis girl out. 
But overall, it was a very fun and very spontaneous weekend. I had a lot of fun. I'm just hoping I'm better for tomorrow because Halloween is supposed to be fun. Last Halloween, I was in Africa. That was fun. I doubt anything will ever be able to top that. But you gotta do what you gotta do. And now I'm probably just gonna take a nap and I might go get some more nudes. So yeah, that was my weekend. Make sure to do good things, make great choices. And I'll be back next week for an awesome video. I don't know what just happened. Like, I guess it just like stopped recording, but you know, uh, live. <laughs>